I bet you'll never forget the Fibonacci sequence after watching this. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two previous ones, starting with zero and one. The formula for the Fibonacci sequence is very simple. It is Fib of n equals to Fib of n minus one plus Fib of n minus two. In Fib sequence, we have two base conditions, which are Fib of zero equals zero and Fib of one equals one. Okay, that's enough theory. Let's see how to do it in Python. First, we'll take input from the user. We'll write num equals int of input. And inside the brackets, we'll add the text enter the number. Next, we'll set our base conditions by writing a comma b equals 0.1. Then, we'll print the base values using an f string like this. After that, we'll run a simple for loop, like for i in the range of num minus 2. Inside the loop, we'll set c equal to a plus b, where c is the next number in the Fibonacci sequence. We'll print C just like this and update the values of A and B in one line. Now when we run this function, it asks for a number. For example, if we enter 10 and hit enter, it gives us the Fibonacci sequence up to the 10th term. It shows only nine terms after the base values because we already printed the first two terms separately. Here, we're using an iterative approach, which is very beginner friendly. If you're at an intermediate level, you can write the function like this to make it more efficient. Here we have created a function that takes num as an argument. Then we set the base conditions and run a for loop. Here you can see I defined the start value as one. We print the output using an f string, where i is the number and variable a is the Fibonacci value for that number. Another way to get the Fibonacci sequence is by using a recursive method. However, it can be very slow with larger numbers.